Imagine a world where computers are so powerful they can solve puzzles in minutes that would take today's machines thousands of years. Well, it's not. It's called quantum computing, and it's already starting to shake things up. What quantum computing is, how it's going to change the world, and why it's super exciting. So grab a seat and let's explore this story together. You probably know that regular computers, like the ones we use for games, homework, or watching videos, have changed our lives in big ways. They help us talk to friends across the globe, shop online, and even Land Rovers on Mars. But quantum computers? They're like the next level of awesome. Back in 2019, a team at Google built something called the Sycamore Chip. This tiny chip did something jaw-dropping. It solved a problem so fast that even the world's best supercomputers would need 10,000 years to catch up. That's not just cool. It's like rewriting the rule book for what computers can do. Now, you might be thinking, quantum computing sounds like something for scientists in fancy labs. But hold on, this isn't just for tech wizards. Quantum computing is getting ready to touch everything. Hospitals, banks, even the way we make new inventions. In this story, we'll explore how it works, which parts of our world it's going to shake up, and what's making it tricky to build. Plus, we'll see why everyone from big companies to whole countries is racing to be the best at it. Ready? Let's go. First, let's talk about how quantum computers are different from the ones we use every day. Regular computers use something called bits. A bit is like a light switch. It's either on or off, a zero or a one. That's how they figure things out, step by step. It's simple, but it can only do so much at once. Quantum computers, though, use something called qubits. And qubits? They're like magic. Because of a cool science trick called superposition, a qubit can be a zero and a one at the same time. Picture spinning a coin in the air. It's not just heads or tails. It's kind of both until it lands. This means quantum computers can try tons of answers all at once, making them super speedy for certain problems. But wait, there's more. Qubits can also do something called entanglement. This is where two qubits get connected, like best friends who always know what the other is up to no matter how far apart they are. Imagine you have two magic dice, one in your hometown and one on the other side of the world. Roll one, and the other shows the same number instantly. Scientists call this spooky action, and it lets quantum computers do calculations that regular computers can only dream of. Pretty wild, right? So where are we going to see quantum computers making a difference? Let's start with keeping our secrets safe. Right now, when you log into your favorite game or your parents pay bills online, something called encryption keeps all that info locked up tight. It's like a super tough math puzzle that regular computers can't crack easily. But quantum computers might be able to solve those puzzles someday, which could put our secrets at risk. Don't worry though, smart people are already working on new kinds of locks that even quantum computers can't break. It's like a race to stay one step ahead. Next up, let's visit the world of medicine. Making new medicines is slow and costs a lot because scientists have to test tons of ideas to find one that works. Quantum computers could act like a crystal ball, showing how different molecules fit together without needing to test them in a lab. This could help doctors find cures for tricky diseases way faster. Imagine a world where new medicines show up in months instead of years. That's the kind of change we're talking about. Then there's money. Yep, quantum computing is coming for banks too. Banks deal with tons of information, like figuring out the best ways to invest or spotting if someone's trying to cheat. Quantum computers can chew through all that info super quick, helping banks make smarter choices and keep things fair. It's like giving them a superpower to see patterns nobody else can. Oh, and don't forget artificial intelligence. You know, the stuff that makes your phone suggest songs or helps robots learn new tricks. Training AI takes a long time because it needs to study huge piles of data. Quantum computers could speed that up, making AI even smarter and faster. Imagine AI that can learn to help doctors, teachers, or even astronauts in a snap. Another big area is energy. Scientists want to make better batteries, cleaner fuel, and stronger materials for things like solar panels. Quantum computers can pretend to be tiny atoms, showing how they'll act before anyone builds anything. This could lead to cool new inventions like cars that run longer or houses that use less power. It's like getting a sneak peek at the future. Now, you might be wondering who's working on this amazing stuff. The answer is pretty much everyone. 
big companies like Google, IBM, and Microsoft are pouring their hearts into it. Countries like the United States, China, and even Australia are spending billions to make sure they're part of this adventure. Back in 2016, China sent a special satellite into space to test quantum communication, and it worked over super long distances, 1,200 kilometers. That's like sending a secret message from one side of a country to the other without anyone sneaking a peek. Meanwhile, places like Canada are becoming hotspots for new quantum ideas, with startups popping up to join the fun. This race isn't just about being the coolest, it's a big deal for the world. Whoever gets quantum computing right first could lead the way in keeping secrets safe, making money, and solving problems. It's like a modern day treasure hunt, but instead of gold, the prize is knowledge and power. But here's the thing, quantum computing isn't perfect yet. Building these machines is super tough. Qubits are picky. They need to be kept super cold, like colder than the darkest corner of space. Even a tiny shake or a warm breeze can mess them up, and when that happens, the whole computer can make mistakes. It's like trying to balance a tower of blocks during a windy storm. Scientists are figuring out how to fix these errors, and they're getting better every day, but it's a big challenge. Another tricky part is making quantum computers bigger. With regular computers, you can just add more parts to make them stronger. But with quantum computers, every new qubit makes things more complicated. It's like adding more dancers to a performance everyone has to move perfectly together or the whole show falls apart. Plus, these machines cost a ton of money to build and run, so only the biggest companies and labs can afford them right now. Even with all these hurdles, the future looks bright. Google's Sycamore chip already showed the world that quantum computers can do things regular ones can't. Every year, these machines get a little stronger and a little less error prone. Experts think that by the early 2030s, maybe when you are all grown up, quantum computers will start showing up in places like hospitals, banks, and schools. They won't replace your tablet or phone, but they'll work behind the scenes, making life faster and better. Here's a cool idea. Some companies are already mixing regular computers with quantum ones to get the best of both worlds. It's like adding a turbo boost to a car. These hybrid machines can tackle special jobs while regular computers handle the everyday stuff. Banks are testing this to make their math quicker, and medicine makers are using it to dream up new cures. It's a sneak peek at what's coming. So. Why should you care about quantum computing? Because it's not just about fancy tech, it's about building a world with better medicines, safer money, smarter AI, and cleaner energy. It's going to create new jobs, spark new ideas, and maybe even solve problems we haven't thought of yet. When quantum computing really takes off, it'll be like the internet was when it first started. Nobody knew how big it would get, but it changed everything. As we wrap up this adventure, think about this. The future is coming faster than you might expect. Quantum computing is already moving from dreams to reality, and it's going to touch every corner of our lives. Whether you want to be a scientist, a doctor, or something totally different, knowing about this stuff will help you be ready for what's next. The world's changing, and you're going to be part of it. Thanks for coming along on this journey. What do you think quantum computers will do first? Help doctors, make banks smarter, or something else? Let us know and check out more fun stories like this one. See you next time.